Straight up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no Do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. Poppin' T Squad, it's your girl Keisha, and I'm here with a new Spill the Tea video. So, word on the curb is that former Real Housewife of Atlanta star Kim Zoziak Beerman's home is being foreclosed. Mm hmm. Well, the Sun reported yesterday that legal documents obtained by the U.S. Sun show that the star and her ex-NFL star husband, Croy Beerman, failed to pay back a $300,000 dollar loan after her show tardy with the party ended a notice of sale under power confirmed that kim 44 and croy 37 had their five bedroom 6.5 bathroom home foreclosed on is and is being put up for sale according to the document the sprawling 6,907 square foot home will be sold at public outcry to the highest bidder for cash before the courthouse door of Fulton County, Georgia. Kim and Croy's home was foreclosed upon because of, among other possible events of default, failure to pay the indebtedness. The couple took out a 300K loan against the home and according to the documents, failed to pay it back. Per legal documents, Kim and Croy purchased the home in December 2013. The initial notice of sale under power was pu published on October 6. Kim and Croy's family home will go on sale on the first Tuesday in November 2022, according to the legal docs. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum did not immediately respond to the U.S. Sun's request for a comment. Fans have expressed shock at the news. A screen grab of the notice of sale under power was shared on Reddit where fans weighed in. One critic commented, I am shook by this even though I know I shouldn't be. Another wrote, same, I'd expect it from KZB but would think that Croy would keep an eye on their finances considering he has four kids to raise and disowned his family after marrying her. A third commenter pointed out a 300K loan is around 2K a month. How does she not have that at this point with even IG ads? He should have that at interest alone from his NFL money. Someone else joked tardy to <laughs> tardy to the mortgage payments another commenter replied to the nod on her show don't be tardy writing kim's next hit a fifth who wrote what happened to cashmere selling 25 million dollars in profits like the kardashians exactly i guess she should have shown up and participated during the filming of real housewives of atlanta instead of acting like she was better than the rest of the cast period a six chimed in croy shouldn't should have been driving for uber instead of playing chauffeur to his wife they knew that show wouldn't last forever according to a real estate listing kim and croy's family home is valued at an estimated two million five hundred thirty five thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars it has like i said five bedrooms six and a half bathrooms the home was sold for eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars in 2012 their mansion is situated in the manor golf and country club property on the 18th hole near a lake um so i guess now with all the work and things that was put into it that's why it's valued at two million um you know it's been a challenging few months for the Beerman family in August Kim's daughter Ariana was arrested for DUI in Georgia the young star was bonded out of jail the same day she was booked TMZ reported at the time that the 20 year old former Bravo star was arrested in Forsyth County Georgia it's unclear at this time exactly when the arrest occurred or who Ariana was with. According to the outlet, she was booked on three separate charges following her uh, initial arrest. Ariana was charged with misdemeanor DUI, misdemeanor improper erratic lane change, and underage alcohol possession purchase of alcohol. Just two months 
prior, her sister Brielle was hospitalized. Brielle took to her Instagram story to share the news with fans. Her initial post shows her arm hooked up to IVs as she lay in the hospital bed. Brielle captions the post, wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. The Bravo star second in hospital Instagram post shows her laying with her head turned to the side, seemingly asleep. Her caption on that post reads, food poison absolutely sucks. Brielle then shared a snap of a sweet gift from her younger sister. Okay. Well, well, well. Um, that's unfortunate. You know, I, if, you know, I feel bad for the kids, you know, the little kids, you know, nobody should have to be, you know, evicted out of their home. But when your parents are, you know, misusing funds, I mean, what can you do? You know, Kim likes to live this lavish lifestyle. She thinks she is the seventh Kardashian child. I forgot all about the fact that she lied and said that her skincare line made $25 million. Child, if her skincare line made $25 million, we all know that her ass would not be living in that house no more. Her ass would be somewhere in Beverly Hills. Get the hell out of here or Calabasas. And let's not forget this rememberable, iconic scene from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You don't come in somebody's house when they're celebrating moving in. And you don't talk to me when I don't even want you to talk to me. Don't be a bitch. Your husband doesn't have a job right now, so worry about that. Really? That was a low blow. Really? Now, we all knew at the time Kim was lying, talking about Croy had $20 million off the NFL. Child, the fuck, please. Girl, get out of here with that foolishness. So, according to Kim, Croy had $20 million. She made $25 million <laughs> off cashmere. So, y'all worth $55 million. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Child, let me know what y'all think about this story down below in the comment section, you guys, because... Kim is reaping exactly what she has sown into the universe. I bet you her ass tried to get back over there on the housewives now because she needs the money, honey. She needs the guap, the payola, the dough, the pesos. She needs it all. She better start selling some of them damn wigs. <laughs> she better start putting her clothes up on eBay. I don't know. She better start uh, being a fashion Nova <laughs> and uh, fit Savage Fenty uh promoter because uh, she better put them kids to use them kids better go outside with a lemonade stand or some start cutting some grass because uh they need all the help they can get child i don't know what the hell is going on over there at the beer house but it's unfortunate let me know again what y'all think down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video bye